Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry, and delighted to be joined, as always, by Stuart Robson. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. It's Universitatia 1948 versus Voluntari. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, it looks like they're going to play in a 3-4-3 formation without wing-backs, which means the outside centre-halves will need to cover the areas out wide, which I would say is asking a lot. And this confrontation is underway. See some progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, this is looking promising. Cut. Damascan space on the flank across lacking guile and accuracy the tackle completely mistimed and you would expect a booking under the circumstances and gobbled up with the into the advanced position a meaty but fair challenge and it will be a throw in has eyes for goal well actually pretty easy for the goalkeeper in the end deserves credit for winning the ball back intelligent threaded pass here And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. Well, being able to improvise is all part of the game. And it was close. Well, it's a great bit of skill, isn't it? He does everything right apart from hitting the target. Well, the hosts have completely bossed the game in the last 15 minutes, creating lots of chances now, and you think if they do get another, it's going to be tough for the opposition to find a way back into this. Options in the middle, and a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Chance to equalise here. The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. He's driven in the corner. Takes the shot. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Well smuggled behind for another corner. 
What a vital intervention. What a shocking pass, really. Chance to finish. Well, you have to say, he's going to be very cross with himself. He'll certainly be disappointed with that. That was a poor effort. Asamoa. So, one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. A running room in the wide position. Now, let's see about the cross. Couldn't grab hold of it. And in the end, no damage done. And there it is, the half-time whistle. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. And the upshot of it all is a sending off too. Well, it was certainly a penalty all day long. A sending off, I'm not quite so sure. And a chance for 2-0. And it's a wild one. Well, there's not much you can say about that. What a miss that was. Well, he's given us away. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And the yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Just not looking confident in possession. Well, there you can see it. Oh, the wait a minute. They could well be in. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. And he read it well. Difficult to stop him. Well, disappointing end to the move. beating his opponent with ease and now it is there for him and the keeper nowhere to be found not that he's complaining well here's the replay and it's a simple finish in the end but where was the defending that's just not good enough so back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0 Well, they get the ball once more. Breaking at pace. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And he's apparently veered into an offside position, Stuart. Well, that's tight, really tight. But he was just too anxious to make his run. He was in, though. So a personnel change then. Inside he goes. And just wide of the post. Decent effort there.
Well, on the cusp of the final whistle and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp. The movement's been bright and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Really good challenge. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.